I'm Ralph Smith, Managing Director of the Campaign for Grade Level Reading. And we've gotten three takeaways from our work over the past few years. Three takeaways relating to meeting parents where they are. The first takeaway is change in narrative. The second is prioritize agency and a sense of self-efficacy. The third take takeaway is reimagine and reframe our messaging around time for families that are already time constrained. On a good day, the narrative about parents, especially low-income parents, is steeped in ambivalence. And that is on a good day. On most days, the parent narrative is, is one that blames, shames, and devalues parents. Although instead, many in the field behave as if we believe that they are parents who are not worthy of their children. This belief springs from the observation that many parents have made bad choices in their own lives and that having done so, they should not be trusted to make good decisions on behalf of their children. And that being the case, it seems okay for us to replace their judgment with ours. If, however, we acknowledge that parenting is hard work, and that parenting is the toughest job for which we all are woefully underprepared. That more empathetic narrative would open us up to the reality that low-income parents are doing the best that they can with the hand they've been dealt, and in many cases, they're doing a great job under circumstances that many of us could hardly imagine. Encouraging agency and a sense of self-efficacy among parents really should become a priority for those of us who work and care about children in low-income families. That means, one, helping parents to envision bold goals for their own children. Two, helping parents to get asked access to the skills, tools, supports, and networks that would help them become co-producers of those bold goals. And three, finding occasions to mark progress and celebrate success. None of these are hallmarks of what we know today of the work on behalf of children and families. In fact, the prevailing message is that parents ought to accept our goals, our skills, and support and our metric for success. This is an approach we need to acknowledge as disempowering and disabling, and one which we need to replace with a commitment to lift up parents and assist them in fulfilling their roles as essential contributors and co-producers of their children's success. Many of the children who need more attention and support live with parents who are time challenged. We need to abandon the expectation that low-income parents will find more time to spend on the learning, literacy, brain building, and child development activities children need. We can take up the challenge of understanding how low-income parents spend their time currently and finding more innovative ways to tilt that time to accomplish more. With that in mind, we have supported the use of text messages to reach parents. We applaud and support the expansion of programs designed to meet parents where they are literally as well as figuratively, supermarkets, laundromats, housing development, barbershop, and beauty salons. We're following with interest the growing success of efforts to embed these messages in popular media. 
And finally, we applaud the lemonade strategy of transforming the often excessive wait time for services into messaging opportunities. These are all encouraging developments to create learning supportive and literacy rich environments. They exemplify how much can be done when we recognize that we need to help parents use well the time they have rather than burdening them with trying to find time that they don't.